On this week's segment of Next Time Try This, I want to talk to you a little bit about spokes. They hold the whole wheel together and it's a very, very important part of that element. Now, if you're doing a restoration, you might want to still use the spokes that you've removed from the bike. You don't have to go out and buy new spokes and new nipples. I'm going to explain to you a little bit about how to polish those in a few minutes, but one of the first things I want to talk to you about is the condition of the spoke. You may have something that looks like this. Over the years, it does get tarnished and the nipple gets tarnished as well. It's usually finished in a clear zinc and nipples on most bikes are clear zinc as well. Sometimes they're in a yellow zinc. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But what you can do is you can polish them and they'll come out just like this. This is a used spoke that I've polished, the spoke and the nipple. Once you get it like this and it's this clean and this shiny, you can give it to a plater and he can put zinc on it and replate the nipple as well. When you're done, it's going to look just like this, like a brand new spoke. You can see where the yellow zinc is here on the nipple and the rest of the spoke looks like brand new. What I like to do on my buffer on the left side wheel, I have something a little rougher where I use with a little uh, black emery compound. Make sure you have on a face mask, some eye protection and of course gloves. That black emery compound on that little rougher wheel like that really cuts the tarnish and uh, the, the uh, oxidation off that spoke pretty quickly. You don't have to press too hard on there, just be careful. You wanna run it off the edge of the wheel like you see there, make sure you get the threaded section as well. I move over to the right side of the wheel and I apply a little brown compound. And this is really gonna give me a little bit of a higher luster on the spoke. I make sure I get the flange and uh, I run it back and forth and I get a nice clean finish and it's ready for plating. It almost looks like it was plated at this point. With a small pair of pliers, a needle nose, I do the same thing on the nipple. Some other thing that I'd like to talk to you about as well is the removal of the spokes. If you can, go out and purchase some good quality spoke wrenches like these. These are actually uh, available from Motion Pro. This one happens to be one that came in the Yamaha toolkit. But they're nice and thick and they'll get a real good bite on, uh, on the spoke when you're, when you're going to take it, take it out of the rim. Another thing I'd like to mention is, after so many years, you may have some nipples that are a little difficult to get out. What I like to use is this Amsoil Metal Protector. It's really great at penetrating the rusty stuff and uh, lubricating things to get them out a whole lot easier. That's available from Amsoil. As you saw over in the polishing video, I used a little pair of needle nose pliers to hold the nipples so we can get those polished up as well. And when I got done, I had a nice clean spoke. Now remember, when you go to talk to your plater, you want to remind him that you want clear zinc on the spoke, but you want yellow zinc on the nipples, if that's what your bike came with. Honda Elsinore did come with yellow nipples, yellow, uh, yellow zinc on the nipple, so you may want to get it back from the plater exactly the way it came from the factory. And something else I wanted to point out too is front and rear nipples on your bike may look the same, uh, but if you look closely, they could be a little bit different. This one happens to be from the front. It's a little longer than the one that goes in the back. However, the one that goes in the back is about seven millimeters at the shank, and the one in the front is only six and a half millimeter. I'm pointing that out to you in the event you should have to go and buy new nipples, you'll get the correct size. They look the same. Remember, they're different. A couple of other things I want to mention to you while I'm thinking about it. If you're going to save your spokes, but you feel the nipples aren't really uh, worthy of restoring anymore, you can't really go to Buchanan and order nipples separately. The thread pitch is going to be different than on an OEM spoke. So if you're going to order new spokes from Buchanan, order new nipples from there. If you're going to use your old spokes, check what the thread pitch is. If it's an OEM spoke, you're going to have to look for OEM nipples in order for them to be compatible with the, with the spokes when you put the whole thing back together again. So next time, try that and keep all those things in mind when you go to do that project.